All right, folks, I have never heard from a client. I want to sell for less money and in a long period of time. In fact, we always want to sell for more money and as quick as possible. But how do we do that? There is a strategy for you to be able to sell for the most money in the least amount of time, but also you want to follow a process. And folks, here's a couple things I want you to think about. Actually, three things to think about if you want to make your home attractive and you're looking to essentially maximize your investment. Folks, any property, whether it be your single family home, your multifamily, your rental property, whatever you have that you are looking to sell, there is a preparation process. Number one is we've got to get our act together. What that basically means is, is folks, we want to make sure that we have key repairs and items taken care of just from the beginning. I want you to think of the following. You see a beautiful, amazing piece of property. You walk in and there's a foul smell. All of the, your senses have turned you off. And that's kind of what happens when people start finding a property, they put it under contract and they find a number of problems and repairs. It just leaves almost like a bad sense in their stomach where they're like, I think I made a mistake. So if we can take care of these issues up front, do essentially what we refer to as our kind of pre-inspection, or we like to call it the honeydew list, because sometimes these are just maintenance and safety and things that really just need to be taken care of to bring the park property to market standard, maybe not even just improve it. So let's make sure that we're going through and that we're taking care of those items because they do improve not only how it shows, how buyers perceive it, but the value that you're going to get out of that home. Okay. Number two is I want you to think of you want to do staging. Folks, this is why that we created this staging guide that you can get from us and we're happy to provide to you. So just please reach out directly and I'm happy to send this to you. But what I will tell you is, is in preparing staging and what this essentially says is we came up with in marketing and selling and staging hundreds and hundreds of properties there was key components that came up. And let me just tell you a couple little things that'll just really help you. I call it uh, number one, we want that property to be clutter free. We want to make sure that property is white glove clean. And we want to make sure the palette of it, the colors, the feeling of it is neutral. So what does that mean? If it's neutral, it means not only does it look good on the eyes, it's easy on the eyes for the majority of people, but it also means that it's not just your personality that's kind of given to them. So, you know, the family photos, the the, the car collection of, of things that are baseball cards that you have, those things are things you love, but you're gonna take those down because we're gonna show neutral photos, neutral things, so they're paying attention to your home, not attention to your stuff. Again, we'll use existing stuff. If there's old furniture, guess what? We may end up swapping that out for something different. And then folks, that's why I keep in an entire storage unit of items because sometimes the clients don't have the ability to, but we can assist them with that. But if you don't have that, just know, all we're really doing is, is knowing what we physically have, improving what we have so it can be perceived differently, not only in online photos, but in person, so that that person can move towards or down the pipeline of essentially making an offer to help make your home sell, okay? Or help your home sell. Uh, but it does make it a little bit easier on the process because now as you've decluttered, done deep clean, got rid of things, it actually makes it easier for you to move because you're gonna move on to the next place anyway, okay? Final item. If you're looking to, we need to make sure that we have a property that is very easy to show. Folks, there was one client that we had and they were just really mad and it's because their home wouldn't sell. And the one question that I had to ask him, I said, there's been 32 showings and you've canceled every one of them. Folks, there's no way that you're going to sell your home if you can't get people through the home. And so just so you know, that home did end up selling because they ended up having showings through, but there is a way to go about it, okay? And the way I go about it is this. Number one, if you have kids and you have pets, let's just make sure that they're aware of what they need to do and that you also have a case for those because if somebody's gonna reach out to you, which it's always gonna be in a time that you're probably super busy, you have the ability to pick up the kids, put away the pets and have the home in ready condition. There is always a showing checklist that we provide for our clients to assist you. If you don't have a showing checklist, just know that there may be people that are going to be coming at certain times. So I would suggest work with your agent to know and time block a schedule that's going to work for you. Because if for some reason you're working from home, you have a family schedule, heck, there may be certain days during the week that it's just it can't be shown, time block that. 
because then if somebody's wanting to go on a Monday and they see that it's not Monday, but they can go on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, guess what? They'll make a change. But just remember this. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Get the buyers through. Give them the ability to. Don't give them a reason to go buy your competition. Okay. If you do these things, I promise you, it's going to make a difference of how it looks and how it's perceived on the market. It's going to make it so that when you're showing the property, not only does it, once they're under contract, the property, they're going to feel really great about it, but they're also going to be excited about it. And you've given them the ability to as many buyers as possible to help you maximize the price. And when you do these things, not only is it showing in pristine condition, but it's also showing better to the market. So if you do get an offer and something goes wrong, guess what? oftentimes you can get a backup offer behind it because people are so interested. And that is another item that you can do to just kind of save you. So folks, if you want a detailed plan of how to get your home ready, what you should do, what you should expect, and maybe just maybe some suggestions, even if it's just from staging the property or doing a few things, please reach out to us. We're an open book. We're going to help you out and we look forward to serving you. Thank you.